It's impressive. I can't put it any other way. It's a fascinating landscape, and you can't compare it with anything you know on the Earth's surface. I'd like to present the Logachev hydrothermal field, which is located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge at a geographic latitude of 15 degrees north on what's called a spreading center. The oceanic crust is being formed anew there. There's a lot of hydrothermal activity there. Water is emerging from underwater vents that are like springs that we have on land, except the water coming out is very hot, at times up to 400 degrees Celsius. At these high temperatures, this superheated seawater behaves very aggressively. What that means is that it leaches out certain components of the crust, so the water that emerges has a very special composition. A black smoker is a vent where these extremely hot solutions emerge. You get these plumes, like smoke, and they form just the way the chimney smoke would spread out here in the atmosphere. The most striking thing about the springs like the ones in the Logachev field is that they're very rich in hydrogen. My research involves taking a close look at the rocks and minerals which have reacted with the seawater. Which processes have caused this hydrogen to form? And how much biomass could feed off this amount of hydrogen? This question is important for an understanding of the material balance of the oceans, and that in turn is fundamental for better climate predictions. When I was studying the geosciences, the biggest motivation for me was to understand how the Earth functions. I wanted to know why the Earth is made the way it is, and why the oceans are salty. 60% of the Earth's surface is covered by 3 to 4 kilometers of water. That means to know how the planet functions, we have to go to the deep sea. We have very efficient remote-operated diving robots. In principle, a remote-operated robot can do everything a manned submarine can do. For a scientist, this is very valuable time, because you don't have to think about anything except your work. Each day you make discoveries that you would never have dreamed of the day before. So it's not a holiday, but it is a very refreshing time, because you can be so active and creative. There are no administrators, no shopping, no children's birthdays. You can really work for 16 or 18 hours a day. And that's good.